afternoon, everybody. Otta Creek Redneck here. And as you can kind of tell by my setup, I'm turkey hunting. It's about 7 o'clock in the evening here. And I thought I had a pretty good setup. Well, is right behind me here in these pine trees is a roosting spot for turkeys around here. Hey, oh, there, fix my face mask. So I figured I'd set up on this spot here because the turkeys will be coming from over this way out in front of me here, be coming across here. But I found out I violated a, probably a cardinal rule of turkey hunting. Don't put things between you and the turkeys. Don't make it difficult for them to get to you. Or like a barrier or some kind. Most people talk about things like, uh, fence lines or creeks or roads well in my case here if you look out across there about all 75 60 75 yards or so is a cornfield on the far side of that cornfield a nice tom and four hens came out about two hours ago. I was soft calling them, clucking, purring, a little bit of very few louder yelps. And that time went into full strut. He was back and forth on the other side of that cornfield. Then the hens were out there picking around. And I violated the rule. I put that cornfield between me and that Tom. And he did not want to come through. So what did they do? They walked all the way around from the side of that cornfield, came around the other side. About, oh, maybe 175, 100 yards away from me is where the cornfield ends. And they stood down there, and he gobbled once. And I watched the hens peck around down there. And they didn't want to come back up this way. They were already down there. So they wandered up the valley up there and out of my life. So folks, try not to put barriers in between you and the turkeys. I sat here for two hours getting a sore butt my knees are numb, my feet are numb, but I learned a valuable lesson. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to make sure I pay attention to what's in between me and where I think the turkeys are going to be coming from. But that's turkey hunting. If I wanted turkeys every night, I'd go to the grocery store. That's the easy way to get them. Well, you all have a good night. Take care. We'll talk to you later.